Hi, so here we have one more problem which was sent by Mr. Thompson from Nigeria. In this problem, we actually have a sequence and we have to find the 250th term of this sequence. So what is the sequence? I have 1, 1, 2, 2s, 3, 3s, 4, 4s and then we will have 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7s. So I was wondering how to solve this problem and then I just arranged these numbers in the form of a triangle and suddenly this problem became very easy. So when I arrange these numbers in the form of a triangle or a pyramid, here we have got the row 1 which has 1 1s and then we have second row where we have 2 2s and then we have third row where we have 3 3s and then we have fourth row where we have 4 4s. So if I count it as first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then 11th term. If I count these terms in this fashion, it is nothing but this problem. So if you remember, we have learned about triangular numbers where first triangular number is 1 and the second triangular number is 3 and if I add 3 dots like this, this becomes the third triangular number which is 6. This was 1, 3, 6 and then we have fourth triangular number which will actually be 6 plus 4, 10 and the fifth triangular number will actually be 10 plus 5 because till here it is the fourth triangular number and after that I am adding 5 dots to it and we get the fifth triangular number which will be 10 plus 5, 15, right? And if I talk about fifth triangular number over here, it is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So similarly, nth triangular number, it will be nothing but the sum of first n natural numbers. So that will be n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2. This is an infinite series where if x is, is a triangular number, then all the terms from x plus first term till x plus first triangular number, this is the number of terms, will all be x plus 1. See here. If I mark these terms, this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term. 3 is the second triangular number and 1 is the first triangular number, then all the terms from second to third are 2 and similarly 3 plus 1 that is from fourth term to sixth term. This is the sixth term and six is our third triangular number. All the terms are equal to three and that is what I have written over here. Right? And we know the nth triangular number is actually n multiplied by n plus one divided by two. So what I'll do over here is I'll find out both the triangular numbers which are closest to 250. First one will be smaller than 250 and second one will be bigger than 250 and the 250th term will have the value equal to n where nth triangular number is closest but bigger than 250. So let's solve this. Let me assume n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 is approximately equal to 250. So n square plus n will approximately be equal to 500. So if I substitute n n is equal to 21 over here n square will be 441 plus 21 this is equal to 462 and if I assume n equal to 22 then n square plus 1 will be square of 22 which is 484 and the value of n is 22 so this will be equal to 506. So this 250th term will actually be in the row number 22 because 21st triangular number is equal to 462 divided by 2 that is 231 and 22nd triangular number is actually equal to 506 divided by 2 that is 253. So this 250 lies between 21st and 22nd triangular number. So this 250th term will actually be in the 22nd row where all the numbers will be 22. So this was a very interesting problem and I solved it using triangular numbers and if you also have any problem for which you need a solution you can send your problems to the number given below. I'll try to solve it and if it is interesting I will make a video over it. So that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart and bye bye to them.